Time now for a story you'll see only here on Western Mass News. A veteran in danger of losing his house is now asking the public for support as he enters a legal battle with the VA, who he says now owns the house. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us live from a vigil at the home in East Long Meadow with more on that story. Audrey? That vigil about to get underway here in just a short while. Now, Jason Sutton says that he's had the money to pay for his home all along, but when mental health issues took their toll after a series of losses in his life, he says he didn't realize he was behind on payments. He says when he called to try to fix the problem, it only made things worse. My first wife served in uh, Iraq, and then she ended up getting leukemia there from the burn pits and passing about a year later. I met my second wife, Kelly. We got married, had Connor, and then she got breast cancer immediately after. Twice widowed veteran Jason J. Sutton says his depression began to overwhelm him in 2017 and that his home sweet home turned into refuge from the outside world. I'd be at my daughter's volleyball game and I would just have tears coming down my face. It would be embarrassing for me, so I just kind of pulled into hermit mode. I stopped going out that year. I kind of stopped looking through the mail. That avoidance led to a pileup when Jay says his bank account got hacked and a new account number was issued to it. He admits he didn't switch over everything on auto pay linked to his old account, including the mortgage payments on his East Long Meadow home. That was when I got the, the notice from the bank that uh, I was behind, that I kind of woke up. Jay says he financed the home through Wells Fargo and the VA. When he called the bank to straighten everything out. Listen, sir, it's, it's not an ability to pay. It's just I've, I've gone through some mental health stuff, and they kept pushing me into doing a remodification package. He says he eventually agreed to the remodification, filling out the paperwork. Filled in the packet and sent it away. And via regular mail? Via regular mail. When did you realize that things were going downhill and that you didn't own your own home anymore? Well, I got the notice that uh, the house had been foreclosed, and I was pretty shocked. Jay says he never heard from the bank on the status of his remodification packet. Wells Fargo sold the I guess evidently sold the house back to the VA. Now he's in a legal battle with the VA. Jay, with support from local foreclosure group No One Leaves, claims Wells Fargo didn't follow a rule in the Code of Federal Regulations. They didn't know his exact financial income, so that should have triggered the face-to-face um, -face meeting. Western Mass News found that same rule, claiming reasonable effort needs to be made by the lender to conduct an interview with a possibly delinquent borrower. Jay says Wells Fargo couldn't find his remodification paperwork. At the last trial date, I was told that they didn't have it at all. We reached out to Wells Fargo for a response. In the meantime, Jay is facing a new battle. The program coordinator for No One Leaves says it could be difficult for Jay to buy his home back from the VA post foreclosure. They will not sell back to a former homeowner. They will not sell back to anybody who's going to keep Jason and his family in the house. What do you want? other veterans in your position who maybe are struggling with mental health problems right now to know. Don't be so embarrassed to, to reach out and talk to somebody. I really struggled with that and that's why I, I ended up, you know, I guess ending up where I was. Western Mass News also reached out to the VA for comment on their policy about letting veterans buy back their homes post foreclosure. Reporting live in East Long Meadow, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.